bottom of your screen on first down. Man-to-man -man coverage, play action for Zeb Nolan. He'll go the opposite way. Over a whole lot. I just think in this game, you gotta, you got to be able to push the ball down the field. That's how you beat TCU. you got to hope they make a mistake. Crowd on its feet on third down. Nolan, pass is caught. That's Butler, and that'll move the chains. Zeb Nolan, a nice pocket to throw to. Nolan again, using tempo, and looking for e. Kohler in motion in place of the injured Chase Allen. Montgomery directing traffic into plus territory. Those at Broadnack. T TCU, a little business, short third and four. Nolan wants to go deep. There's Butler in the pass. Too young. Nolan with a pocket off his back foot, and it's incomplete. Trying to spot Deshante Jones. Montgomery, first team all Big 12 a year ago. Power run. And after a gain of... Nice pocket for Nolan. Fires it. Caught. Matthew Eaton makes the grab right at the line he needed to get to. In the backup tight end, getting the start tonight in place of Chase Allen. Jump cut by Montgomery and a nifty spin for a quality pickup. First team all Big 12. Quick pass caught by Jones. Makes a move plus territory. Deshante Jones. Gary Patterson told us he's their best player. It's not Butler. And Montgomery a patient run. Will pick up three on first. Second possession for the Cyclones. Montgomery. A short pickup on what looked to be a stretch play. Iowa State needs seven. Pocket for Nolan. Fires it. Dangerous pass nearly picked off. Montgomery makes a cut. And he'll gain three on first. That belt several weeks ago. Had an interception last week in the win against Akron as Montgomery dives his way. Play action. Butler. Incomplete, and there's a flag. That's going to be... I remember what Gary Patterson told us. I asked him, I said, hey, you know, last year, Phil Pott and I had you against SMU, Cortland Sutton, night a few nights of the week. Four-man front for the Horn Frogs on first down. Nolan fires it. Butler has it. And a nifty move for a gain of 11. So good. It's the run after catch and the ability to avoid tacklers. Nolan goes deep. A late flag on the field. To those good receivers, he always has a safety over the top. Nolan with time across the middle, a dangerous toss. To Butler that time, even though Butler ran the square in, he just breaks the route off. He's got help over the top, so... Here comes the pressure. Screen. Crony. Will be stopped short. Well, a nifty move initially. Third quarter is officially underway. Swing pass, Jones makes a move. Into TCU. Pressure off the edge, Nolan. The pump fake, lost the handle. Picked up by Banigou. Underneath with the safety deep, so it's hard to get over the top. Pass on first down across the middle. That's his running back, Johnny Lang. Only two receptions for Akeem Butler. Here comes pressure, right up the gut. Nolan, down he goes! Four-man front for the Horn Frogs. He'll set up the screen. Jones has nowhere to run. Brought down short of the... Th Pocket collapses. Nolan trying to spot Layden Akers. ECU. On first down, Cyclones take over. Montgomery straight ahead for a short gain. As we check in with Chris Cotter back in the studio. One six yards tonight. Only points courtesy of a first half turnover. Nolan zips it. Akers has it. Rock. With a pocket. Nolan. Butler was covered tightly. Four man front. Nolan with plenty of time. Slings it incomplete. Pocket broke down quickly. Seconds. Now on third down here. Here comes pressure. Montgomery has it, but stopped well short. You know, to the next echelon and, and everything wonderful about college football. Let's look at a guy whose body of work is with tackles and getting up the field for yet another first down. He'll feed 32 again, and he pays dividends again. That's a gain of nine. 
First and ten. Why not? This time Corral behind the line and Montgomery tackled for no gain. Crony checks in. Montgomery out. Empty backfield for Nolan. Flings it. And a quick grab. A late flag on the field. Hakeem Butler is third reception. And I was going to say a moment ago, Roy, Hakeem Butler, see number eight. Watch. He'll get his hands on the defender. Well, it's out of the screen, but he, he had his hands on the defender. Second and 25. Instead of third and short. Down the field. Butler threw his hands. That's when he shoulder to Hakeem Butler. He was down the field, and it looks though he just he had him. He he was open. If the ball's low and catchable, I mean it's third down. Pressure. Nolan escapes. Zeb Nolan. Near sideline. First down. Iowa State on the sidelines for the first down. Banigou missed it, missed a golden opportunity. Montgomery straight ahead to the goal line. He'll be stopped on. Straight ahead, dives across, touchdown. Five of ten on third down tonight. Nolan with time, zips it incomplete. Butler. Watch targets on the night, only two catches, but credit Ty Summers. Boy, I'm telling you what, he is a special player. He will be a wonderful player at the next level. I mean, here's a guy who high school, he get a chunk over the middle of the field. Pressure up the middle. A short gain on first down. Sheldon credit on it sometimes. They don't have, they got coverage over the top, so they can, they can gamble. Cyclones need chunk plays. That pass will be ruled incomplete. Eight. Knowing they have help over the top. Third and eight. Nolan heaves it incomplete. It's just to have another opportunity. Empty backfield for Nolan. Flings it looking for Butler. It's incomplete and TCU's going to win it.